long time no see but isn't that just you know the nature of this channel anyway so i really wanted to film this video because i one have an etsy shop that i'm very proud of uh link will be down in the description but also i have just been staying up all night binging all of these like studio um studio vlogs all of these people who sell stickers and uh like trinkets and just amazing art on etsy really um but they also make videos about them packing orders and about their shop and i think it's awesome and it's kind of like asmr and um my videos will definitely not be asmr but it's just relaxing and it's nice to see um their process and how they do things and stuff Bud's there. Hi, Bud. so i thought that i would make a video as well because it just looked fun and i just uh got a new desk set up you can't really see it but that's what i'm pointing to so yeah i wanted to show um my desk setup for this video so yeah expect a few etsy themed or Etsy centered videos coming from us. And if you have any questions about opening an Etsy shop or just the logistics of it, anything like that, because it is super confusing, um, let me know. I'd be happy to answer and help out because it is confusing and uh, sometimes not fun. So I'm happy to help. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the video. Okay, so this is my current desk right now. Um, it's completely not unbearable by any means. It's a really good setup. Um, I have the Alex drawers from Ikea. This is really all Ikea. Um, the tabletop, the legs, uh, chairs from Target though. Um, but the thing is, it's just a little small for what I need and it seems like work from home and you know isolation is gonna be happening for a while. So yeah, we just wanna kind of figure out a better setup for uh, my system and my needs. So I get like super envious of all the Etsy girls on YouTube who have like these beautiful studio rooms. Unfortunately, I just don't have that right now. One day, hopefully, maybe. <laughs> but this is where I keep the majority of my stickers. And as you can see, the desk is just like a little small. Oh, I'll close my notebook so that you can't see my secrets. But um, the desk is just a little small for my stickers. So I have to put my desktop monitor a little to the side. So it kind of hurts my neck when I'm looking at it. And then my stickers are here. So when I'm packing orders, you know, I can, uh, I can reach most of them. But the ones that are behind here, I have to like close my laptop, which gets annoying. And minimal first world problems here but it's just for streamlining things it's just a little annoying and then um i actually put some more of my supplies over here this is the kitchen area i'm not going to show you too much but um we're propagating basil right now i'm going to hope to uh, plant a new basil plant here soon um but i had to put like just some more of my supplies over here because um i just didn't have room on the desk so i really just needed to make a better system for myself that's more streamlined because um, now that grad school is over I am going to be committing a lot more time to my Etsy shop and just freelancing things and various things that I just need kind of a better setup for at-home work. You'll also notice I have this chair full of boxes. These are, are or this is uh, Jordan's old desk chair. We need to get rid of it soon because it's very uncomfortable and very old but right now it's holding all of my cardboard boxes. Um, I'm a little of a hoarder in that way that whenever I get like packages and boxes I don't like to throw them away because you know boxes are good and if I need a box it I just like feel silly buying a cardboard box from the store so I stock up on boxes especially the ones that are like this size and not huge because I feel like these are just a really good size to have on hand so that's why they're there they're gonna get a better home with this whole new setup and yeah let's get started tabletop that we got is essentially the same Ikea one, uh, just like the plain white one. What is it called? Linman. The Linman tabletop. But this one, what's the size of this one? This one is four feet by two feet. Four feet by two feet, whereas one, this one... Five feet by two and a half feet. Five feet by two and a half feet. So it's really just an easy redo. Detach the legs, put them back on this one. But yeah, here's the size difference. Yeah, we're getting an extra foot in length and an extra six inches 
in depth. Good stuff. And then here's all the mess. is really nice because it really just comes with everything you need and these holes are already pre-drilled so you don't even have to do that you just drill it in yourself and then you just attach the legs Thanks. more cardboard should I keep this cardboard no. <laughs> But it's such a big, nice piece. Could use it for something if we ever want to build a fort or something. I'll add it to the pile. Just like that. So here um, is what the new size looks like. We, or Jordan just did, not we. Jordan pulled out the Alex shelves a little bit. These shelves are so heavy. <clears throat> Jordan has them on his desk too, but they're, they're really nice because they're worth the money. Like they're really good drawers and they're sturdy, they're sturdy guys. But yeah, so now I have a little bit more room for everything. <laughs> um, the other tabletop we're keeping uh, for just for future use, cause it's still really good and I don't think they would take it if we tried to return it. I don't even know if we have that receipt anymore. So we're just gonna keep it in storage and save it for something else. So the desk is reorganized for the most part. Um, yesterday I just like made it a little bit more comfy for myself so we arranged the shelf just a little bit. We got some eucalyptus leaves at Trader Joe's and they're so nice. Um, I hope I'm caring for them the right way. I just stuck them in some water. Um, this branch came like this <laughs> so it actually was like a really nice fit to go under that shelf. Um, this hasn't been changed since like we moved into this apartment, so if anyone has anything funny that they put on their board, so let me know. And yeah, I left this space open right here because I want to order some prints from some of my favorite artists and start just like collecting them here. But yeah, this is it for the most part. So I did have some work to do before I filmed this video, like I did it over the weekend. Um, and this setup is actually amazing now. Like it makes like the six inches in front makes such a big difference because now I can scoot my computer back and have all this room for like my iPad or for writing things down or just having things in front of me that I didn't have before. And I'm gonna pack some orders today, but now I have all this space. Um, I'm gonna keep this fairly open so that I can pack orders on my desk because before with the shorter desk I kind of had to do some of my desk, bring some over to the table. Here's Sesame. Hi. Um, but yeah, so now I just have all this room here and um, for some of the bigger orders I'll probably have to bring it to the table still, but still, it's really nice. So yeah, loving the new space. But now I'm going to reorganize a bit because I have all this new packaging stuff because I'm actually rolling out pins here soon. So I got some bubble mailers um, and I'm going to figure out how to put it within this space. This is how I keep a lot of, oh not that one, but this is how I keep a lot of my packaging now. But I want to streamline it a little bit better so I'll just be reorganizing now. <music>
desk area is basically done. I still have this pile of boxes, but I was able to reuse a few, but right now, just my recycling corner. But let me take you through what I did. Starting from the top, this is relatively the same. We got my little planter full of zoom zooms over there. Uh, moved the little elephant head up there because I put the eucalyptus leaves that was in the vase that was up there and here, so now it's up there. <laughs> um, this shelf uh, I kind of showed before, but just for a little bit of knickknacks, they'll probably accumulate a lot more little tchotchkes there, but that's that. This is from our best friend Shannon. She gave me this when I went to grad school as like an organizer, but now I'm using it there. I have some of my favorite prints. This is from my um, one of our other best friends, Ryan Lamb. He has his own shop. I will link it somewhere here, probably. <laughs> um, but yeah, he does a lot of great kind of like, uh, I don't want to say weird, but like groovy art, funky art. Um, that's like Disney and Muppets inspired and stuff like that. Um, this is the sticker station. So again, I have all this room now to pack and to organize. So stickers are all here. Um, all of my cards are here and I'm actually ordering a few more. So, um, when those come, I will organize them as they come. Oh, and then I have my prints here. And yeah, so that's that. My printer's there. Here's the whole tech station. This is one of the cards that I will be releasing soon. It's a birthday card. It's your birthday. Um, then I just put a candle over here. Brand new. It was like five bucks at Target on sale and it smells really, really good. But let's get to the drawers. So um, these I reorganized, but it really didn't make too much of a, of a difference. But I'll just show you what's in my drawers. So this is kind of like my junk drawer right now that has like all my catch-alls kind of. So we got tape back here. Extra money. Um, but my hard drives are here and I just keep them here because I always am reaching for them. Sorry, I didn't realize I wasn't filming them. Um, then this is another kind of junk drawer. This was where I had all my shipping stuff, but as you can see with the Alex drawers, this one is shorter than this, and I knew I was going to be just accumulating a lot of shipping stuff, so I wanted to put my shipping drawer as one of the taller drawers here. So this right now is just random. Um, it will probably get a lot messier as time goes. Um, now here's the shipping drawer, which has changed a bit. So this is like the stuff that I reach for the most, so my envelopes, my thank you cards, my stamps. I usually have stickers to put on my envelopes, but um, I'm waiting for my new batch to come in. I ran out. This is more packaging stuff, so my cellophanes. And then this is products here that don't really fit on top of my desk, but I don't reach for them that much because they don't sell that well, which is whatever. Um, so they're just in the back here, and then just some more regular envelopes. And this is my like stationary drawer. So these are cards that like I that I didn't make myself, but I use for like Christmas and holidays and birthdays and stuff like that. So just extras. And then this again is just a random drawer that has a bunch of random stuff in it. So I stuffed a bunch of my like uh what do you call it? like makeup bags, but I use them for like to hold chargers and stuff like that in here. Um, my Wacom tablet that I don't use is in here, and then this is my robot. <laughs> this is my Arduino and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's just a random drawer. And then I put some extra packaging, my bubble mailers and stuff below here because now I have all this space so I can sit over here and then have stuff under here. It's really great. But yeah, that's my desk. I'm really happy that I have all this space now. Yeah. And here's Jordan's desk. Hi. <laughs> we'll have to organize this too, eh? I guess. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan, for you're helping welcome. me do my desk. Didn't do much. You're welcome. Thanks. See you next time. That's the end? Mm -hmm.